Good afternoon. This is one in a series of videos covering different position fixing methods. Today we will be discussing about running fix. To obtain a fairly precise position using running fix, there are some depending factors. They are the wind, the current, the accuracy of the ship's log, and the steadiness of the course steered. So, if any of these parameters are different then the fix that we are going to obtain will be extremely different from the original GPS position. Running fix is mainly used when you have a single reference point. Imagine a lighthouse or a beacon and your vessel is sailing past it. So at fixed intervals of time you will be taking bearings first bearing you will take you will get a position line so note down the time of that position line now after a few minutes interval maybe around 10 or 15 minutes you will take a second bearing and again note down the time so you have got two bearings we will not be using the GPS speed for any of the calculation we will be depending upon our ships log so the ship's log should be accurate so at the start of the first bearing take the ship's log reading take the distance then after the second again take a distance imagine the first bearing the log distance was 187.5 and at the second bearing the log distance was 190.0 that means the vessel has traveled 2.5 miles as per the ship's log it is not the GPS speed it is the ship's log distance that we have taken now the next important factor is the ship's heading remember we are not going to use the course made good we will be using the course steered so find out your ship's heading and draw your ship's heading anywhere on the first bearing line you don't have to take a specific position you can draw it anywhere on the line and using the two and a half mile this two and a half mile we are used as an example cut it on your heading and using the parallel roller transfer the first bearing line to the point where two and a half mile has been cut on the heading so once you transfer the first bearing line is going to meet the second bearing line so the point where the second bearing line has been met by the first bearing line when you transfer using the parallel roller is your second position now on to the second position transfer the course line that is the heading line so the point where the course line meets the first bearing line is your ship's first position so basically you have got your first position and your second position this is how a uh, running fix is done on the ship you can always verify it with your gps and if all your parameters have been taken accurately the position of op obtained would have been accurate now let let us do a practical on how to do the running fix so for taking bearings we will be using the azimuth circle the azimuth circle has a slit at one hand and a thread on the other side now to take a bearing of an object we will be placing the azimuth circle on top of the gyro repeater and we will be observing the object through the slit so once all three are aligned we will be able to read out the bearing now there is a small mirror attached at the bottom of the azimuth circle along with a thread attached to it that thread is in line with the thread on top so whenever you take a bearing this bearing is reflected and along with the thread you will be able to read out the bearing from the mirror placed here now let us practice the running fix remember the bearing you will be able to read out here now the ship's current heading is 292 and the chart we will be using will be the chart for Malacca to Singapore Strait 
the chart number is 3947 so the point of reference for our running fix calculation will be the lighthouse in the island pula undan that is the characteristics of the lighthouse now i'll show you how pula undan lighthouse looks like the tower you are seeing and the middle is the pula undan lighthouse you can see that so i'll the current situation is this is a ship's log that's the speed and distance and this is the gps position and time now let us take a bearing the bearing for pula undan at present is 003 you can see 003 now once i get this bearing i will take that 003 on the compass rose and transfer that line on to pula undan since pula undan is a fixed position i will be getting a star there and i will be drawing my line from the star so the time is 1 224 and my ship is somewhere along this line so the next bearing i am taking the bearing is 020 and the current situation on log is the distance and speed and this is the gps time and position so again i'll be taking 020 on the compass rose and transferring it on to pula undan i'll be getting my second position line or the bearing line so this is my second bearing line and the current time is 1 2 3 so let us check the characteristics the first bearing was 003 degree true and the second bearing was 020 degree true and comparing the log distance the difference was 2 decimal 1 so in 10 minutes we have traveled 2 decimal 1 mile as per log so i'll be plotting a course line of 292 degree on my first bearing remember 292 was the ship's heading so i'll draw the 292 line anywhere on my first bearing and 2 decimal 1 i will take from the latitude scale you can see 1 2 2 decimal 1 2 decimal 1 i will cut from the first bearing to 2 decimal 1 on my course line now this is the course and distance i have traveled i have received a reference point and to that reference point i will be transferring my first bearing line the 003 bearing line i'll transfer once i transfer it this first bearing line is going to cut the second bearing line so the point where the first bearing line is going to cut the second bearing line is my position at 1 2 3 4 that is my second position since i have obtained my second position it is very easy to obtain my first position the only thing i have to do is i have to transfer the 292 course line on to my first bearing from my second position so i'll draw a line from my second position at 292 course back to my first bearing line so that is my first position so i have obtained both 1 2 2 position as well as 1 2 3 4 position now let us confirm the 1 2 2 4 gps position with our position obtained by running fix so my longitude and latitude i am going to plot uh, longitude is 102 degree 19 decimal 59 and latitude is 1 degree 55 decimal 46 so that is my gps position you can see there's a slight error again my second gps position longitude is 102 degree 17 decimal 74 so that is 102 degree 17 decimal 74 
and latitude is 1 degree 56 decimal 34 so that is the latitude so once I plot the position you will see there is a slight error you can see it is slightly different from the positions I obtained from running fix around one cable should be the error so let us check so this error is around one cable so why this error is coming is because there is a difference between the GPS and the log speed you can see the GPS speed at one noon was 11 decimal 6 and at 1 o'clock it was 12 decimal 5 so we will take an average as 12 decimal 1 or 12 decimal 0 so my positions were at 1224 and 1234 so the difference in the GPS speed and the log speed has practically transferred into my positions you can see there is a slight error so that error is unavoidable because we are not getting the correct speed so let us confirm what we did we took two bearing lines so that was the first bearing line and the other one is the second and on the first bearing line we drew our heading that is the code steered and on the code steered we cut the log distance we traveled so once we got the point we transferred the first bearing onto that point that point once you transferred that line cut the second bearing line at one point that point is practically the ship's position at the time of second observation and to that position we just transferred the course line again and where it cut the first bearing line was the ship's position at the time of first observation so this is how running fix is done i believe you got a good understanding of how to do running fix thank you